more LED experimentation. This time I've just removed the reflectors. I've, I've replaced uh, the LEDs in this one with two yellow and one red. And I've replaced, uh, I've actually moved all the reflectors and the, the restraint unit in the front, uh, the restraint plate. And I've used, probably not the ideal thing for it, but I've used bath and shower silicon, the white stuff, uh, to put a tiny wee blob after cleaning the back circuit board in this. Basically, a blob in between each of these holes. Then clamped it in into position. And uh, just to hold it in place, I used um, some uh, Poundland super glue and accelerator. I mean, seriously, you get an aerosol can of accelerator with this stuff and the fairly large bottle of super glue, 20 grams super glue, with the accelerator. And it's really fast. You just spray the accelerator on and boom, it's pretty much set. So I've used that to tack it in. I could have actually put nuts and bolts through just to hold it until it had, you know, been allowed to cure for a modest length of time, but I wanted to try it out immediately. So I'll show you what this looks like now. Uh, if I plug it in here, you're, you're, it's going to swamp out the camera, isn't it? Yes, it's going to swamp out the camera. But it, instead of being a fairly concentrated area of light, it's actually just a, a wash of light now. And if I show you it, I can show you uh, one of the glitter lamps with the blue and green version. Two blue, one green. And I'll do that right now, in fact. So once again, the uh, glitter lamp itself will just swamp the camera out, but you can see the effect now. Instead of projecting sort of lensing effects onto the wall, it's actually projecting the sharp points of light. And it's a really visual effect, very sharp and sort of wave-like. It's quite attractive. So that's uh, just the bare chips in there without the lenses, just projecting straight up into the glitter.